Anyway, uh, moving on to other conspiracy theory related news. <laughs> I got a kick out of this one. This is uh, a lot of people's favorite conspiracy theory is that either we never went to the moon or that the early landings were faked or the video of it was faked. Who knows? So this story, NASA plans to use blockchain to store data on the moon. The solution would keep Earth's secrets safe. So, so let me go through some of the details here. Um, so, <laughs> please uh, do, please so, do. C- computer startup Lone Star on the Isle of Man, uh, working with NASA, are going to join forces to spearhead a new data solution using blockchain to safely store data on the moon. I'll be honest, I've read three or four different versions of this story. Uh, they put out a press release, put out a video, a whole bunch of different you know entities covered it. It's really unclear to me what actually is happening here. A lot of them try to put the spin on it that... This is going to have something to do with uh, uh, proving that the moon mission was real. Like this one just has this little kind of mention. You may, you know, people often tell NASA you made up the moon missions and proving they're actually there is surprisingly difficult. Um, right. It was all Stanley Kubrick or something. Yeah. 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 Um, and then also, so again, it, it's really unclear what this whole thing does. But basically the idea is that they're going to put this little box on the moon uh, that's a one terabyte drive. And somehow it's going to then use blockchain technology back on Earth to validate its contents. It, this is being done to safeguard them in case the planet becomes unlivable. And then like one of the people behind it kind of argues that it makes it unhackable because you physically have to be present on the lunar surface in order to hack it. Uh, okay, uh, what? what? First of all, if it's transmitting, if it's got some sort of a network connection to a blockchain back here on Earth, then that's absurd. For two reasons. One, you don't need to physically move something 393,000 miles away in order to... Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's our thing. Anyone turning into a zombie yet? Okay. I think you got to actually turn the phone off if you want to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. Um, oh, you don't have to put something on the moon in order to make it unchangeable. Unha- when they mean unhackable, they don't mean take data from it. They mean change the data in it. You just need to use a blockchain. Amazing. Right, and they're acting as if, and and also, if there is in fact a data connection to it, then you can do data breaches. You can modify data on it. You know, it's no more secure just because it's really far away. So I honestly don't get it, and I certainly don't get why anyone's claiming that this has anything to do with being able to prove that the moon missions that, happened. Like, that there's a lot of mis- misunderstanding the most about ridiculous technology. part. It's like. Yeah. Okay, if the moon landing was faked on a movie set, wouldn't you just put this box on the movie set? Yep, yep. And and even if you were to do something like, uh, you know, it, you, it, it receives GPS data to show exactly where it was, well, you can fake that before it goes into the blockchain <laughs> storage data. So whether they happened, they didn't happen, this is all for, you know, the upcoming missions, whether they are real, whether they aren't real. You know, there's plenty of people out there that think we literally can't escape Right, Earth's the orbit Van and Allen and radiation and belt exactly, and all exactly, that kind of exactly. stuff, right, yeah. So again, none of those people are going to be uh, convinced based on this because you either don't understand the technology and you just can make goofy blanket statements that don't actually make sense and don't have anything to do with the underlying technology uh, and thus take it on faith because that's what you're doing because someone's just telling you this or not take it on faith because you're going, well, someone's telling me that this is proof, but it's really just telling me to take it on faith. So it's just kind of stupid. Honestly, especially if someone's spinning it as this is going to be the proof that we went back to the moon, they're just going to reinforce the people that don't think we did because this is no way to actually prove that. The best Maybe part. I'm wrong. Maybe actual details about this will come out over time and it'll be, be cool. you know, easier to understand and somehow I, I don't know what you could do to prove that you're on the moon, honestly, within a blockchain and, and, and the blockchain stores data once it's been captured. How that has anything to do with what the data is being captured, how it's being captured, anything else like right, that, right, 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 doesn't right. make any sense. That so is one know. of the fundamental misunderstandings, I think, of blockchain technology that yes. is really well illustrated by this example is yes. that it's not a record of truth. Right. It's a record of things that were stored. It's a record. Whether it's, it's or not proof that it hasn't been changed since it was stored. Or whether or it was a proof lie that when it, it has, got stored. Exactly. Right. But exactly. just like it is, yeah, right. It's it's just this unalterable record. Right. Full stop. That's right. all that it's capable of. Right. It's not actually capable of, you know, deciding what's true. Right. And that's, I think, where people get really confused. I Clearly. have to say, though, compliments to the team on doing a really good job with, like, connecting the project to interesting PR. That's true. They got a lot of... 
right? They got a lot of press coverage. I mean, it's yeah. inaccurate press it's coverage, good, but at least it got covered. Hey, it's so, a good story. Good yeah. Good it's, but also, it's fun. I, I honestly have to wonder how much they're going to spend to send a one terabyte drive. And also, I kind of skipped over that the point was that they want to put data on the moon so that in case the world is wiped out, the data continues to exist. And it's like... There's much smarter ways to do that. We don't need to put it on the moon. And I mean, it's a the one emergency broadcasting did just go off. It could wipe us all out. Yeah, wait, you know. You know, I'm, I'm Honestly, though, I have to note for those following along at home, it went off two minutes early. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So Boy, who knows what that means? Maybe it is, is a true emergency, system but I turned off my phone, so I don't know. Yeah, so we'll never know. Yeah, yeah <laughs> indeed. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Yeah. 